if our relationship with God is such that it refines everything, which it is, there must be a way for me to actually, and there, there is obviously a way for me to feel God's emotions for me. Does that make sense? If I can feel your emotions and you can feel my emotions, it would make sense that God can feel both of our emotions, wouldn't it? Yeah. But also, God has emotions that come from God to us that we're able to feel. Now, if we look at it from a perspective of sci a scientific perspective, if God existed before the universe was created, then it would make logical sense that God exists outside of the universe. Does that make sense? So in other words, if God existed before the universe was created, then, the, then God existed without the universe being present. So therefore God must exist outside of the universe. I'm not saying that God hasn't the ability to enter the universe. I'm just saying that God must exist outside of the universe. And the universe in its creation got created and God can then enter that universe or exit that universe as God sees fit, obviously. But the universe existed after God existed. So let's put the universe here. Now we are in the universe, are we not? So we are little person, little ant, if you like, in this universe. Now, if, if I can feel an emotion from you and we can be in the same room, that's one thing. But if you're on the other side of the world then, and I can still feel your emotion, that's quite different, isn't it? Now, how many of you have experienced that you've felt the emotions of somebody else on the other side of the world? How many of you have experienced that? Yeah. And many of you experience it when you get a feeling of, ah, oh, I need to call, phone, if your mum or father is overseas or something, I need to phone mum and dad. And that's because there's an emotion being projected at you <laughs> that they want to contact you generally at that moment, and you can feel that. And so you feel instantly the need to, to engage that. Now, if we can feel the emotions of people that are not present with us, when I say present, I mean in our physical location, then it would make sense also that God is totally able to feel emotion, whether God is in our location or not. Now, if that's the case and we're in the universe, then that means that every emotion that I feel is able to be transmitted to God and it actually can exit the universe. And for it to happen instantly, it means that it has to not be constrained by time or space. So in other words, if I have a feeling inside of myself that I project at God and God can feel that feeling immediately, then that means scientifically, from a scientific perspective, that means whatever I am projecting at God has to have exited the universe and entered God for God to feel it. Right? And if that is the case, and it's just a supposition, if that is a case, then obviously every feeling I have in relationship with God can be felt by God. Now if we take that one step further, we also then have the potential to feel every feeling God has for me. That would also make sense, wouldn't it? If you and I can feel each other, then surely God can feel us. But conversely, surely we can also feel God. Right? Now if we can feel God, and our feelings are the truth of what we interpret in our relationships, and they are. So in other words, it's not the thoughts or the words that we mostly interpret in a particular relationship that we have. It's the feelings we feel from a person, or to, towards the person, that determine whether we are in a relationship or not. Can you see that? We can say all of the words of love, for example, and mean none of them. And the other person can feel that we mean none of them. And so therefore we're not really in a true relationship. True relationship gets established 
through having feelings that actually cover a distance between ourselves and another person and enters the other person and their feelings for us cover a distance wherever that distance be it might be right next to each other or it might be way away and enters us and there is a cycle of feelings going on feelings inside of me for the other feelings inside of them for myself now if that's what creates relationship what I'm suggesting is that we have exactly the same relationship with God and if that is the case how do we actually hear God so if we rub all that out and ask the question here is me in this potential relationship with God how do I hear God the only real way that I can hear God is by actually feeling God's emotions and how does God hear us the only real way God can hear us is by feeling my emotions God God feels my emotions and that is prayer it's the feeling of the emotions that I have for God that God hears and the answer to prayer is the feeling of God's emotions towards us as an answer so there's prayer and this is God speaking to me now can you see that if I'm incapable of feeling any emotion because of whatever damage I've received during my life about all sorts of things that might have affected me in feeling emotion then I'm going to have a lot of difficulty hearing God speaking to me and if I'm incapable of feeling my own emotion myself then very little prayer will exit my soul and enter God I have to have a feeling associated with my prayers before God can feel them so God can see all of our thoughts I'm not saying that God can't but what God feels is how God reacts not what God hears do you see the difference just like in your relationship with another person you do not react to what you hear you react to what you feel from them exactly the same thing happens you react to what you feel from them and as a result you then can feel what their intention is you can feel what they feel for you sometimes it can be good sometimes it might be quite unpleasant but you can still feel it and and the same applies what other people feel from you so if that is the case then it would make sense that the method of communication with God does not involve thought and does not involve words but rather involves feelings and emotions that makes sense so far now if I am going to have a relationship with God one of the benefits of this relationship with God is that I am going to become more and more sensitive to feeling God's emotions on every possible subject that I could ask a question about so I can ask a question about let's say the human soul does it have a soul mate you know is what AJ is saying about the human soul does it have a soul mate I can ask that question and if I'm sensitive enough to feeling God's emotions on the subject I will be able to get an answer to that question very rapidly the problem we have and this is a major problem that we have on the planet is our lack of sensitivity emotionally so the more desensitized we become emotionally the more difficult it becomes to sense another person's emotion the more difficult it becomes to sense another person's emotion the more difficult it becomes to have a relationship with them one of the most if you look back on your relationships 
the most frustrating relationships generally are the ones where the other person hasn't got a clue of what you're feeling. Aren't they the most difficult relationships to maintain? You can, it's like you're having a relationship with a brick wall, basically. Now, the only way that we can become sensitive to what another person is feeling is by firstly become sensitive to what we actually feel. But as we do that, we grow in our sensitivity. We then become, we then have a stronger ability to sense and experience emotion, to actually sense and experience feelings rather than have just thoughts all the time. Now, as a result of that, you can see that you can you can see that if that is the case, a relationship with God should make us more sensitive to emotion. It should make us more sensitive to feelings. We should be able to accurately determine over a period of time, we, we should be able to accurately determine the feelings of our own and of others and even accurately feel God's feelings for us at some point. And as we grow in our relationship with God, this is what actually happens. You will eventually be able to feel God's emotions on all sorts of subjects. This is a very rapid way of determining truth. If you can feel God's emotions about something, then you can feel what God feels about it and therefore be able to determine whether your feelings are in harmony with those feelings or not. 